Hey everybody, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles. And I have another one page wonder. I am using Christmas papers, but you can certainly use any paper you have. This is made with one piece of 12 by 12 cardstock. And like I said, I um, am really in the mood <laughs> for some Christmas crafts. And I hope you guys are too, isn't that precious? So let me tell you a little bit, here this one opens this way, um, a little bit about the paper that I chose to use. But like I said, you can use any paper that you have. But if you like this one, this is the, let's see, The Magic of Christmas. It's an Echo Park paper. And if it's available on Amazon, I'll put a link in there for you. If not, I'll put a very similar kit. Um, so you can at least just go take a look. Uh, and just remember, I am an Amazon associate, meaning they will give me a few pennies if you do end up making a purchase, but it's no cost to you. So my links are affiliate links. Okay, so I love this one. It has beautiful patterned papers, and then it has a bunch of the pages. Look at these, aren't they cute? Um, a bunch of pages that are the kind you chop up, if you want to, to get all kinds of little tags and cards and things like that in different shapes and sizes. And then there's that full page of stickers too. So we're gonna use some of the little pieces. And if I counted right, I think with this one kit, the way I'm cutting it up, you could easily make seven of these, or six of these, maybe even seven. Definitely six, I think, would give you still enough of the little pieces that you need if you want to make the pockets the way that I did. But anyway, um, I think that that's a really good deal. And of course you can make other things. You don't have to make six of the same thing. But I think these are gonna make some great little gifts um, for me to give um, during the holidays. And like this is a front pocket, but in any of these pockets, if you wanted to, you could add a gift card or some money or things like that. So I just think it would be fun. It would also be a good way to, if you were going to give pictures at Christmas time to family members, you know, of your kids or whatever, um, or from your vacation, if you wanted to share that. So anyway, just just things to think about and thoughts. I think, I think it's super fun. All right, so let's jump right in and get get going. I also wanted to mention, I just like the size this one ends up being. It ends up being five by six, and I just think it's, it's a fun size, and I love those Christmas trees. This was inspired by Pink Strawberries with a Z, and I will link her channel in the description for you below. She has lots of great projects. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to start with a piece of 12 by 12 paper, and it doesn't really matter if I get this turned the right way, but um, you are going to cut it in half. It's six inches. You need one piece that is six by 12. And then you're going to cut the other half, the other six by 12 in half at six inches. So you have two pieces that are six by six squares. All right. That's all you're cutting for the main part of the folio. We are going to do just a little bit of scoring. So I'm gonna get out my scoreboard and I'm gonna start. Now, my first, the first one that I made, there was a directionality to the paper. So if, if your paper has a direction, you, you wanna make sure that you're paying attention to that as you're scoring. My, my paper doesn't, this page doesn't. So mine will be pretty easy. I will have all the measurements, including the scoring, in the description of the video for you. So you can refer to that um, if you're gonna decide to make one. So this first piece on the 12 inch side, we are gonna score it at five inches and at 10 inches. All right, and we'll fold it up here in just a minute. 
And then I want you to take one of the six by six pieces and you're gonna score it at two inches and then at five and a half. And then the other six by six, <laughs> you're gonna score it at a half an inch. I knew that one. And four and a half. All right, and that is all your scoring. And then I will go over with you, and again, it'll be in the description, the measurements of the little pieces you need for the little pockets we're gonna put in. All right, so then the first thing I would do is fold all your papers on the score lines and make sure everything is folded nice and neat and it's lining up and you like the way it looks. <laughs> and then we will start assembling. Now I did, I think I told you guys if you watched my other videos, I did mention that I had purchased myself some new distressing pads. And they haven't all come in, but one did come in. My favorite, Walnut Stain. I got another brown as well. So we are gonna be using the new Distress Ink Pad. And I am gonna go ahead and ink around my edges. It's not necessary, again, with this paper, and you don't have to, but I like to. And I also like getting it really just kind of on the edge so you don't see where I cut it, the white. I know this side, the background's white, but on this side it's red. And for some reason, I just find that white core, <laughs> when I'm looking at it from the red side, to, it, it bothers me. So it's a personal preference. If you don't want to ink, don't ink. And you can always, except you know where things are glued down, like this is gonna turn into a pocket. This would be hard to ink later but you certainly could ink around the edges later. All right, so this is our cover and it's gonna open like this and this is a po gonna be a pocket. And let me go ahead really quick and get these inked and I'll show you how we're gonna put it together. Don't glue anything just yet, just so you can make sure you have all your, your pieces the way you want them. Okay, I think this is the one. It's going to go back like that, but we'll, we'll confirm that in just a minute. And I think, I also was thinking, I really like the way this one turned out. So I may make a few of these to have at my craft fair. I think it would make a sweet little, it, it's more than just a Christmas card, but it's not, an overwhelmingly large gift if you needed a gift for somebody, or that's my opinion. All right, I am going to use my wet white glue. This is the um, Line Co. PVA glue, and again, it's in my Amazon storefront if you want to see some of the supplies that I use, and if you need some glue. All right, I wanted to ink that nice and heavy so it's gonna be easy for you guys to see, hopefully, where I'm gonna glue. So, these little half inch uh, hinges are what we're gonna glue down. So this first one, I believe, let me just make sure. I think it really matters which one we glue down first. I want to glue this one down first. Okay, so the one, and again, you're going to get to choose w which way you want your paper. I'm going to have this one fold back this way. And this is going to be the one that's going to be the open pocket. So this is the one that has a three and a half inch section. This one 
the section is larger, it's four inches. So the three, let's start with the three and a half inch, the one with the three and a half inch, you can have it folded this way, it doesn't really matter, however you wanna do yours. To make it a little easier to glue, let's take this one and we're gonna add glue just to this flap. So they are a little different, even though they fold the same way, they, they were scored differently. So make sure you have the one that has, maybe it's easier from this, this edge, a, the two inch section here. All right, add your glue and you're just going to lay it onto the base a little to the left of that score line. You don't wanna go over or your folio will not fold up correctly. So just be careful if you come over to the right too far, this won't fold on the crease line. Okay, now again, I believe mine's going to end up being folded back that way, but we'll worry about that in a second. All right, to get this out of your way before we add the next page, let's go ahead and glue it closed because I'm gonna make mine be a side pocket. So glue it closed just like that. And then take your section that has just a one and a half inch, and this is gonna end up being another tuck pocket, but don't glue it yet in case you wanna change your mind. I think this is gonna look wonderful. We're gonna add glue just to this section. If you wanna flip your paper, if because you were using two-sided cardstock and you want the other pattern to show in one direction, you, you can flip yours around, that's okay. I, <laughs> I wanted mine this way and I didn't ink, but there's the, the crease line, I apologize. Again, I'm going just a smidge to the left of that crease line and I am trying to keep everything nice and straight so that our folio will work. There we go. Let's see what it's looking like. So this this is kind of what I meant by we we could have we could have could have we could have folded it where more of the red is showing on this side and you had the pattern on this side. Again, so many options. We could do the flip this way. That looks kind of pretty together, doesn't it? Why don't I fold mine that way? Okay, so to do that, this is going to become a pocket. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue just on the two sides, the top or the top and the bottom, the, those two edges, to add a nice side load pocket, just like this one. So we have two of those. This one I'm not gluing closed because we're gonna add the little angled pockets on these two panels. And this is, I attached my original one, it, it folded this way and opened, but we'll use a Velcro dot to keep this closed a little bit better. And you'll see that in just a minute. Okay, so that is the base of your folio. If you wanted to, you could, I didn't on mine, I just left mine like this, but we could add a ribbon closure or a tab closure, something like that. So a lot of ways you can vary this if you like to, if you would like to. All right, let's install the rest of the pockets. On this panel, we are going to have a belly band and I definitely want to use it this way because I don't want those two reds together and we might even looks like this one I may have cut just a smidge taller than six inches so I'm gonna take just a smidge off I don't want it my belly band to be taller than my folio. Now, I decorated my other belly band by punching a circle out of one of the little square tags. 
So that's an option, or we could use it square. We could also pick out a sticker to decorate it. And I, I like to decorate the belly band before I glue it down simply so that I don't have to worry about getting my glue and accidentally closing the belly band. So let me see what my choices are. That's kind of cute. Why don't we use that? But instead of leaving it as a full square, I think I'm gonna get my corner rounder and use the quarter inch side and just round these corners just a little, just to give it a little more of a finished look. We'll see if we like it. Yeah, I kind of like that. I'm gonna add the slightest bit of ink. I gotta get used to my brand new ink pad. I'm so excited. It's definitely juicier than the other one. All right, I like it towards the top. So again, this is where I'm going to move it off of my folio. I'm gonna add glue to the center. Now, th and this is what I meant, that way, if my glue squishes over, it won't close up my belly band. And now I'm just going to add glue to the top and to the bottom so that we have a nice tuck spot in our folio. And my glue's oozing, but it's okay. I'm gonna be careful. Oh, there we go. Nice. We're gonna turn the page, we have a tuck spot here, we'll decorate that. And this is where you're going to, oh, I didn't give you the measurement. This is one inch by six inches, okay? And then you're gonna need a three by three square. There's my three by three square. And then cut it on a diagonal. And we are going to make a corner tuck spot. And I think it's okay if it's upside down a little bit. I kind of like it that orientation and I want to save this one for down in this corner. So let's go ahead. I'm going to ink and glue the bottom corner tuck first on this side. Doesn't matter which one you do first, but I'm here. So glue on the two sides and remember Hold it by the side you want to leave open. It's a little easier on these triangles to not get confused, but I have added glue to all of the sides <laughs> or the wrong one before. Let that dry. This is going to be so cute. And some of these patterns, like there might have been a page that had a cuter pattern the way it chopped up or the red on the poinsettias might look okay, but it's actually even a little bit different red. I don't know if you guys can see that. So I'm just gonna use the pattern and then if I want to, I can add a sticker or a little embellishment on these pockets if I don't think they look festive enough. But I like it. The stickers even have a couple of versions with some words and things on them. Okay, now, on my original one, I put one Velcro dot just at the top corner. You could put one at the top and bottom if you feel like you need it. I'm gonna stick with just doing one and I think we'll be okay. And these are the super skinny Velcro dots. One of my favorite crafting items. <laughs> I use it a lot. If you watch my videos, you know I love to pull out the Velcro dots. We'll give that time and it's sticking to the pocket and you want to make sure it's not going to like put it where whatever you choose to put in the pocket that it would stick to that. This also, if we decide to decorate this pocket now that I've already put the Velcro down, I need to be careful of the Velcro or I'll have to just use another dot. Can you guys hear my crazy, crazy dogs? I think we are getting a delivery. My husband is at work and they act frantic, frantic, like they have to save me from UPS or the Amazon delivery guy. I don't know. All right, back pocket. 
we are going to make the back pocket. This is two inches by four and a half. So a two by four inch rectangle to just make a top load pocket. If you wanna put a notch in it, you can. I'm gonna leave mine the way it is. So again, hold it by the side you want to leave open and just a little bit of glue. I also think depending on like how many ribbons and extras, you could add glitter, you could add liquid pearls, all kinds of things, depending on you know how, how fancy you get with this, um, how much time you have or, or what, what the occasion is. But at Christmas, I think adding you know a little bit of extra is nice. If you wanna send this as a happy mail or in the mail, it does stay flat. And I, I put quite a few things in here. This ribbon, of course, is gonna add a little bulk, but you could skip the ribbon, right? Um, so decide what will work for you and what you're gonna use it for. I like really embellishing mine, so we'll, we'll have a little fun decorating this one now. So cute. Now I do have, I wanted to do the idea of the pocket on the front. And this one, it just worked perfectly. One of this, the pages that you chop up to get the different little tags and cards had a strip December 25th that was one inch by four and a half, and it just fit on there perfectly. So I went ahead and cut a strip that is one inch by four and a half, because there's only one of those in the in the kit. And I haven't decided yet if I'm going to use the candy cane side, or if I'm gonna use this patterned side. What may help me decide is if I pick what I want to put in the pocket. So again, there are so many cards and they are in different sizes that's cute so a rectangle one obviously would fit you know in this pocket that ornament's really cute i love all of them santa but the square one i particularly liked the shape of on the front of this folio. So here, here, are the, here are the square ones that I have left, I think. I just, I, I liked I liked how it looked. Oh, look, bring your treats. Let's see if any of these end up being, hmm, maybe this one with the, the darker green. If I use this one, I don't think, I, I think I want it to not slide all the way in. <laughs> because I would like to see Merry Christmas when you look at it. I can bring the glue up a little bit on my pocket, but it needs to slide in enough that it doesn't go flying out. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna just install the pocket and we'll see how it lands. I am gonna use the candy cane side. So I'm gonna be careful with my glue to try to do just a thin bead. And I am gonna come up just a little to keep it from sliding down in the pocket. But I think that still leaves about three quarters of an inch and I think that will hold it in just fine. Taking up a little bit of the real estate of the pocket with the glue <laughs> and it's okay, you can do that. One thing I love about these paper kits too, besides all the pretty, ooh, that might be pretty, all the pretty patterns and designs, is when you cut the branding strip off, let me grab some of these, I kept them here. When you cut the branding strip off, and I guess it's so that depending on how you maybe even store the paper, you can get a sense of which pattern is which. But I use these little pieces a lot. <laughs> I will cut them out and use them to decorate like this pocket. I happen to have a piece of this stripe Ooh, here it is in a little bit. Here, here's the branding strip. It took me that long to find it. Um, I, I actually think I liked it really skinny though. So we're gonna we're gonna cut this to the correct size. But anyway, the, these branding strips you can just throw them away. But 
if you are thinking you may need a few extra pieces to help embellish your projects, you may want to hang on to them. I think they look great. I know my tiny, I'm looking for my pencil and I don't see it. I know my tiny, here it is, chopper does not have a four and a half inch mark. So I'm going to just mark that using this pocket as my guide. And then we will chop the skinny, tiny little piece of paper off. And I'm not even going to worry about inking this because it's so skinny. But I am going to glue it down. I like it. You know what? How about before I glue it down, let's put this card in and then I can decide if I want to center it or if I want it to. Yeah. I think you know that says Merry Christmas. I'm not going to worry about it. I wish that the words were up just a touch. I'm going to bring it a little to the top, I think. Not, not try to center it. Ooh, the green side's cute too. All right, not try to center it. It would, I think it would look good centered, but I'm gonna bring it up just a touch. Maybe like in a third, a third of the way down the pocket, just to give another little interest. All right, super cute. We may do a bow or something on the front here in a few minutes. Let's see what else we have. So I did have to, on some of these larger cards, have to trim them down just a little, but they have quite a bit, you know, they're, they're, there's enough room, enough extra to make them fit in the pocket and still look good. So I'm gonna be careful as I trim. I don't wanna cut my star off. I don't wanna cut off the script there. But now it definitely fits in and it's not too hard. You just have to do it straight. I like that tree there. And we'll ink later. Maybe add a ribbon. Okay, what do I want in this pocket? I used, I believe, one of the square cards. I think this size is going to fit nicely without having to trim it. And there were a bunch of these. I like all of them. And you can put more than one card or things in the pockets. There's so many pretty, pretty ones in there. Let's do that. We'll put two in there. And then on this side, I really want that ornament. And maybe that one. All right, here. See how quick when you have such an easy paper kit, everything comes together. Okay, we'll put him there. And then on this one, I think I have, yeah. Let's do the snowman right there. And I wonder if any of these, they're a little tall. So I think we're gonna go back here and use these. It just comes together so quickly. Okay, so let's add a little ribbon excuse me I'm having trouble I'm having a little trouble I'm putting extras in this one I am going to add a baker's twine bow to this little snowman because I think it'll be cute and a lot of times I think you guys have seen me do this when I'm using really thin string ribbon twine whatever I will double it just to give it a little more oomph you don't have to, but I also think it makes it look sort of special. Let's see if I can make this work. Sometimes I make my life hard <laughs> and I try to tie my bow too close to the edge or the end of the ribbon. All right, this one ended up being a cute little tiny bow right there. Isn't that sweet? Just easy easy not a hard project at all if you don't have this brand of paper kit you know use any scrapbook paper you have you can make 
awesome tags and ca journaling cards and things yourself. I love the ones where I use book page as the base for my cards. I think they look wonderful. I do want to decorate these pockets just a touch. And this is where some of these branding strips might come in and look really good. So how about a dark green branding strip? It's almost the exact length that I need to. So I'm gonna chop it off and it I didn't trim it the best when I was cutting the paper. So I'm gonna have to really play with it here on my little baby trimmer to get this extra little bit off because I only want the dark green and not cut my fingers. Let's see how I did. Am I at the right height? Ha! Looks good to me. It, I, I can easily entertain myself if you guys haven't noticed. <laughs> I was <just> like, ha! Oh. <laughs> All right. I, I think I've told you guys, you know, I have a little in-person shop uh, storefront here in the Richmond, Virginia area. And I... <laughs> still it's October and we're doing Christmas but that's the way the world works these days and for crafts I have to get started earlier I won't have time to get everything finished but um I put out my Christmas inventory this week and we have a ladies night event tonight at the store which will be super fun by the time you guys see this of course it will be over but I am excited about that. And I have some super, super duper cute. I'm going to pick a sticker. Super, super duper, duper, duper cute um, pillows. Holiday pillows that are in my shop. I think this is going to be fun. And... I hope they, of course, I hope they sell because that's why I bought them for the shop. But I wouldn't mind having a few for myself. So I may have to go back to my distributor or if they don't sell, I may keep some of them for myself. And we haven't started decorating here. Of course, I won't do that until maybe a little before Thanksgiving or Thanksgiving. It seems like each year I do kind of tend to put my tree up a little earlier than I used to. But... It, it, I don't know. It just still seems a little early. It seems a little early. I think I want something on this pocket. Oh, maybe just the Merry Christmas sticker. Yeah, that'll be cute. And I'm just choosing where to put it based on kind of the images here. And do I want anything on that pocket? I had talked about it. How about the word jolly? Jolly. There we go. <laughs> All right, I could keep going. Um, let's add a ribbon to this tag. I'm trying to do better, and I didn't do very good keeping my new ink pad closed so that it doesn't get too dry. I'm not good at that, though. I get so busy crafting, and it seems like opening and closing it just is not a good use of my time, but... I'm going to try to do a little better. Maybe if I know I'm going to be crafting a lot, I'll use the old one because it still definitely has ink in it. I also was thinking for my in-person workshops, of course, I can re-ink it so people don't get frustrated. But it's nice to have multiple ink pads around for people to share. That looks cute there. Now, this ribbon, I got this at Hobby Lobby. Really, so $1.99, but I'm sure it was like, it's... I, I'm sure it was on sale. You know, Hobby Lobby has different things on sale. So 40%, whatever. It's very inexpensive and it's a lot. But it's almost like, it's not, it, it's not fabric. Uh, it really holds its shape. You have to be careful because it will crease even, almost like paper. Anyway, I just thought I'd tell you guys about that. I've had it for a while, but I think it's in their regular line. But I love the color red. The, the color of red that it is, and it goes really well with this paper kit. 
All right, I'm gonna put it right there. A bow or something would have been cute there too, but that'll look funny if I do two and two. Wonder if there's a sticker or another little word that will fit that isn't the same Merry Christmas because I already have Merry Christmas here. Hmm. I'm just looking. You guys probably oh, joy. I would say you guys probably can see it and are thinking, pick, pick joy, pick, pick whatever. But there we go. Joy. Joy. All right. I am very happy with how this turned out. Let me move this out of the way so you guys can see. And I still have so many pieces. And again, I put more in here than I did in the original one just because I felt like it. So it's a little bit fatter. That's the one I had made ahead of time. And this is the one we made together. And I will go back probably and ink some of these cards up. The pockets are very roomy, so things do slide a little bit. If that bothers you, bring your glue down some, and it'll make the pockets a little bit tighter for you. Very sweet. All right, I love how all the colors coordinate. I love all the patterns. It makes me happy. I hope you guys like it, too. Please uh, leave me a comment. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, let me know you're out there. And um, I hope you decide to make one. Let me know if you do. Everybody, until next time, have a great day. Thanks for watching.